it starts with the, you know, first you have to have that working together relationship. You know, like uh, with me and Jackie, it's kind of a little different because uh, I'm more like her grandfather than her agent, you know, so not only do I try to help her with, uh, you know, uh, the everyday business of racing, whether it be the morning work, the afternoon work, schedule, say, uh, in the evening, you know, as far as she has to get plenty of rest so she'll be able to get up in the morning and get on the horses because in New England, if you don't exercise the horses in the morning, you're not going to ride them in the afternoon. So that's a big part of the business. And this is all I've ever done in my seventh decade in racing. I've been working here since the 50s. I started out as a hot walker when I was 10 years old. I've always remembered as an agent, the golden rule is trainers got to train. Meaning, you know, the night before they'll go home, they'll plan out their, their next morning's, uh, you know, training schedule, routine. And for them to do that, everybody has to be there. Not only the jockey, the exercise boy, the groom, the hot walker. And all it takes is one of them to be late and not show up and it messes up their whole morning. So I have to find those young, hungry kids that want to work, that want to make a name for themselves in this game and that, you know, have talent. Three things they're going to have to be lead and rider. They have to have talent, which I can't give them. They've either got it or they don't. I can't go in a store and say, oh, give me a box of talent. Another thing they have to have is a great uh, work ethic. Like I said, the more horses you get on in the morning, the more you ride in the afternoon. And the third thing they got to have is personality. They got to be able to talk to owners and trainers and know what they're talking about it and present it in a professional manner. I never try to put pressure on myself and the riders. I just tell them, try your best all the time, do your best all the time, and everything else will work out. You know, like, like when it's all over, you can always look in the mirror and say, hey, I, I tried my best or I did my best. The future looks like we need help. You know, hopefully if, uh, you know, uh, the casino comes in and, uh, you know, like at other tracks, uh, you know, look at how big, uh, perfect example, New York right now. They got the slots and uh, the casino and uh, the purses have like tripled. And, and now the best horses from all over the country are want, racing there or want to race there and they're getting full fields and uh, you know the, the bigger the fields uh, the better the handle is you know because uh, there's more opportunity to bet there's bigger prices so you know I, I think uh, you know casino gambling uh, can really help racing it has at other tracks and states I, I don't see why here would be any different.